realize the following digital filter using direct form 2 here the digital transfer function is given that is h of z we supposed to realize using direct form 2 so here we can observe that power of z is positive values so first we'll try to rip the power of z as negative values so let, so let me divide numerator and denominator by z square that is divide numerator and denominator by z square so that i can represent it as h of z is equal to we have on numerator that is 0 0.5 z square divided by z square that is nothing but 0 0.5 we have 0 0.5 plus here already we have z z by z square is nothing but 1 upon z that is nothing but z inverse plus we have 0 0.5 divided by z square that is 0 0.5 z power minus 2 similarly in denominator we have z square that is divide denominator also by z square that is entire denominator is divided by z square so z square by z square is 1 so it is 1 plus we have 0 0.5 z that is nothing but 0 0.5 z power minus 1 plus we have 0 0.4 divided by z square that is nothing but 0 0.4 z power minus 2 so the given h of z will be represented in this way as we know the transfer function can be represented as that is suppose this is h of z let me take x of z as the input and y of z as the output so i will divide h of z into two subsystems that is h1 of z and h2 of z let me call it as h1 of z and this as h2 of z so assume that those are connected in cascade let x of z is the input for h1 of z and w of z is output of h1 of z this w of z acts as input for h2 of z and let y of z is output of this system so here h1 of z is in direct form 2 structure h1 of z is with respect to poles and h2 of z is with respect to zeros so zeros are nothing but the numerator part of h of z poles are nothing but the denominator of h of z so therefore now i can write h1 of z is nothing but the poles poles are nothing but denominator it should be represented as 1 upon we have 1 plus 0 0.5 z inverse plus 0 0.4 z power minus 2 as we know h1 of z is nothing but the transfer function which can be represented as output by input output is w of z input is x of z that is w of z divided by x of z and we have h2 of z is equal to output by input that is we have y of z divided by w of z which is equal to with respect to zeros that is nothing but numerator that is 0 0.5 plus z inverse plus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 now let me simplify this further so here let me consider the h1 of z system so here let me cross multiply so this will be x of z is equal to this entire thing will go on right hand side so that i can write it as x of z is equal to we have w of z and this entire denominator will come on right hand side that is 1 plus 0 0.5 z inverse plus we have 0 0.4 z power minus 2 0 0.4 z power minus 2 i will simplify this that is x of z is equal to w of z multiply this w of z with each of this values we can get it as 0 0.5 z inverse w of z plus 0 0.4 z power minus 2 w of z so here let me express 
so as we see here h1 of z for this block the output is w of z let me represent the expression as output expression that is w of z is equal to we have x of z minus 0.5 z inverse w of z so let me take this on other side minus 0.4 z power minus 2 w of z so now taking inverse z transform that is by taking inverse z transform we can get w of n is equal to the inverse z transform of x of z is x of n minus so this will be 0 0.5 inverse z transform of this is w of n minus 1 minus we have 0 0.4 z power minus 2 w of z its inverse z transform is w of n minus 2 so this is one of the intermediate output let me call it as a so let me consider the second subsystem that is h2 of z so this can be represented as y of z is equal to i'll take this w of z on other side y of z is equal to we have w of z into we have 0 0.5 plus z inverse plus we have 0 0.5 z power minus 2 so let me simplify this y of z is equal to I will multiply w of z with each values of this that is w of z that is 0 0.5 w of z plus z inverse w of z plus 0 0.5 z power minus 2 w of z so now let, let me take again the inverse z transform that is by taking inverse z transform i can write it as y of n is equal to inverse z transform of this is 0 0.5 w of n plus inverse z transform of this is w of n minus 1 plus 0 0.5 w of n minus 2 so this is the another output of the second subsystem i will call it as b direct form to structure so that is let me take one adder say this input is x of n let the out intermediate output is w of n so now according to this expression we have w of n is equal to x of n minus 0 0.5 w of n minus 1 to get w of n minus 1 we should pass a, a w of n through delay element so let me pass w of n through z inverse so output of this will be w of n minus 1 so here the multiplication factor is minus 0 0.5 that is let me multiply this minus 0 0.5 so this should be added with x of n so minus 0 0.5 should be added with x of n so let me take one more adder here so this will be connected to this so similarly there is another expression which is minus 0 0.4 w of n minus 2 so already here we have w of n minus 1 pass through another delay element that is z inverse here the output is this is z power minus 1 this is w of n minus 2 here the multiplication factor is we have coefficient of w of n minus 2 is minus 0 0.4 that is minus 0 0.4 this will be connected to here so this is with respect to the poles now we have to consider equation b with respect to zeros that is y of n is equal to 0 0.5 w of n plus w of n minus 1 plus 0 0.5 w of n minus 2 so here we can see that let 
let me take one more adder here its output will be y of n so here we can see y of n is equal to 0 0.5 w of n so here already w of n is there so here multiplication factor is 0 0.5 w of n we have plus w of n minus 1 so here w of n minus 1 is available so take from here this is w of n minus 1 here the multiplication factor is 1 by default then we have 0 0.5 w of n minus 2 here we have w of n minus 2 multiply this with 0 0.5 this is connected to here and this is connected to this adder so this is the complete structure that is direct form 2 structure for the given transfer function thank you for watching